Hey, what's up everyone? I just wanted to show that uh, this bird here, last night, the cats were after it, and I saved its life. Um, one of the cats had it in its mouth, and somehow or other I pulled the bird out of, their ma out of the cat's mouth, and then, then, uh, it got in, I brought it in the house, and I pet it and pet it, and it calmed down and got its strength back. Sadly, it died later, but it was the strongest bird I'd ever seen. This cardinal was the strongest bird I have ever seen. And it actually went to sleep in my hand. And after it had gone to sleep and got some rest in my arms, it then jumped up and flew out of my arms in the house. And I was like, uh-oh. It went just flew up onto the kitchen light and then flew over to the stove and Rosie jumped up and grabbed it and of all things she just she got it oh there was an orb behind it there was an orb there but Rosie got it and then I had to I opened her mouth and pulled it out of her mouth and it was going to try to go fly out the kitchen window but I got it and I uh, held it for a little while longer after that and let it rest. And uh, after it passed away last night, uh, I, I, or I then put, I put it in this, I put it in this bowl outside on a tree with uh, some, some wood chips in there. And it passed away in that bowl. And I buried it earlier this morning. I I buried it and said a blessing for it. And because right when I was trying to save it, I mean, this was the strongest willed bird I've ever seen in my life. It, a, the little blue cat jumped up six feet in the air and got it when it flew off. It finally got the strength of fly off again and a third cat got it and so I had to go run that cat down I hit the cat I was smacking at it and then I pulled the bird out of its mouth and it's it was still alive its neck was backward but it was still alive it didn't bleed it didn't get separated or anything but then it calmed down and and uh I went back down there later in the night to check on it and it was okay and I pet it this was actually right before it flew out of my arms, out of my hand. I've never gotten to hold a cardinal before. The cat's got a hold of this red bird. And I pet it a lot. I saved it from a couple of our cats. I brought it in the house and it it flew out of my hands in the house and I got it. I got it back. And I saved it from a second cat. And hopefully, hopefully it'll, it didn't make it, but I was hoping it would. The feathers I hope were. It's not in I, I was hoping it wasn't injured too much, and the light went out while the phone light went out when I was recording. I found this bird. They uh, they had it in their mouth, and, and I got it, and then I got it in the house, and I actually got it to relax and go to sleep and all of that after that I brought it down there alright so I've nursed this bird back to health so I'm going to put him outside right here I'm gonna let him be right here
hopefully, hopefully he has enough strength to fly away again. And it did fly away several times. And I don't know where the stick came from. That there was a stick that this bird had when it died. And it was sticking straight up out of the bowl. And. But he died in that warm bowl there. In that. That bowl. I went back to check on him later. And. Uh. Hopefully he has enough strength to fly away. I was hoping he'd have enough strength to fly away, but he didn't make it. I mean, I went back to check on it later. And I went to save a red bird. He's still alive. The thing is, I don't know where that stick came from. If you'll notice beforehand, you'll notice that beforehand when I went to check on the bird, I went to check on him, there was no stick. There's no stick in that bowl. And interestingly, later when I went to check on him, see that stick right there? A stick was added. And he held on to that stick. Okay, he's still alive. Until he passed away later in the night, so. I nursed him and nursed him. I took care of him as long as I could. And. This was him later. Unfortunately, it didn't make it, but. I'm going to bury it. This was a very strong bird, very strong willed, and it flew up into the air, got into a branch, and then flew again. One of the cats jumped up and got it, and I got it away from the cats. I don't know where that stick came from that was left with it. I don't know what happened. That's interesting. That stick was left with this bird. I buried it with parts of its favorite stick. I mean, it was just, it was a beautiful bird. bury the little fella so that's what happened I dug a, I dug a hole for him gonna put I don't know where the stick came from, though. I don't know where that stick came from, but he uh, he was holding on to it with both legs as uh, as it passed away. Apparently, maybe something brought him a stick, or or he. Or he. Rest in peace, buddy. Either that or he. Now, midnight never bothered him. But either that or he, uh. Well, his feathers turned mighty blue. But either that or he, uh. He put it in there himself. He got out and put the stick in there. But that's what I did. The cat was looking at it, but... Then I said a little blessing for it. May you rest in peace, precious spirit. 
strong-willed soul. Now may trouble never find you, and peace shall you experience evermore. Now may you rest in peace and forever truly soar. Rest in peace, precious bird. This was a special bird. He was very precious. That's for sure. But anyway, this bird will definitely be remembered, that's for sure. He was such a special, strong-wheeled bird. But he's at peace now. There he is. Just wanted to show.